The winter months can make Abhishek Nanjandapa feel somber. Tough times uh, starts as soon as the, the clock changes. A time where he reflects on the death of his father, who took his own life nearly three years ago. I basically isolated myself for two years. Nanjandapa said he struggled, losing motivation to finish his school before realizing he needed help. I have my own mental health issues. Um, I've struggled with suicide thoughts myself. I know how it impacted my dad's passing away on my family. I decided I can't do the same. He says last year a school counselor recommended he attend an event called Coping Through the Holidays. The event, organized by Vancouver Hospice Society, offers free bereavement service to people who have recently lost loved ones. It tends to be a time of year where we're focused deeply on our families and, and gatherings with our loved ones. And of course, if you've experienced either a recent death or a death that's very significant, that will stir up so many memories. Councillor Kayla Hockfelder says the goal is to help people realize that it's okay to grieve. This opportunity just really normalizes all of those feelings, recognizes how we can come together, whether that as a community or as a family, and include those that are grieving. Last year, 50 people accessed the service, including Nanjin Dapa. Yes, I'm more comfortable. I'm much more open to um, not avoiding my feelings. He plans to attend again as the hospice hosts the event for a second time on Thursday. Organizers are expecting double the number of attendees. The evening um, gives you a chance to meet other people and to just express how you feel. Participants learn different coping tools. A lot of it is around pre-planning with your family or with friends and recognizing that you might need your own space, you might need to kind of have things on a different timeline. main thing I have learned is forgiving for things that have been done in the past, whether by me or someone else. For Nanjandapa, he hopes he'll come back again next year, but as a volunteer, so he can help others get through a hard time. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.